Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here. And today I have, well, a very special video sponsored by The Silver Trader. Now, before you go anywhere, before you say anything, I am pretty excited because, well, besides having to work here in the workshop, yes, I am wearing gloves. So, this is a coin that, well, it deserves respect as far as I'm concerned. So please make sure that you go over, you check out my description down below, uh, like always, and uh, you're going to find all the links, the details, and everything else that you're going to need to know. Um, and also stay tuned to the very end. You don't want to miss out, honestly. Um, so what do I have here? I told you I am wearing gloves, and there is a very good reason for it. Already, can you see how beautiful this thing is? Now, I'm wearing gloves, not only because I was told to get it out of its capsule and show it in all of its glory, but because actually I'm going to buy this coin regardless. Uh, since setting eyes on it, I fell in love with it immediately. Now, this is number six in a long series. And I don't think it's going to be incredibly difficult to backdate it. But if it is, so be it. Some of the old original designs were rather blah. Okay. My opinion, I'm being honest. But this is the first time I get to actually review one of these. And let you guys see or show off what I think is amazing. One of the key features here that I really love, okay, is, I'm going to have to actually pull off because my glove does not like me operating too many things at once. So, I'm going to have to rely on one hand here really steadily. So, here we go. I got my, my spare glove off to the side. But, look at this rim. This is the face side, by the way. This is a side that you would normally put down. On this coin especially, I think both sides are beautiful. And I also, by the way, if you notice, 2020. Um, also, the fact that there's like a starburst in color. Really, this is, let me try to make it, look at this, it's like fingerprints. And it is just amazing. Now, I have seen a video already on this coin. I'm holding my hand, not the coin. But, as I said, this is mine anyway. I'm going to buy it 100%. Look at the checkered patterns. Uh, if I can try to get in there, I'm way away from it. We have the dark, dark, light, light. It's very much like a checkerboard, but then it's even more intricate with how the light plays on it. Now, of course, we have Queen Elizabeth II here. Um, not one of her finer pictures, not one of the worst pictures I've ever seen of her, but she's on the coin nonetheless. We also have the um, token, the amount of money, so it's a, a Tolua, a Tokolua dollar. And we have the amount here which is one ounce fine silver three nines now just alone on this side it is incredibly graceful and beautiful in my opinion and what i really like about it the most is it gets a lot better when we flip it around and originally one would think that you can't really improve on this i mean this really is remarkable it almost looks like there's some barbed wire coming down through it is such just an amazing design so huge praise to the pressburg mint and yes that is who designed this coin pressburg mint um and it does have a limited number here of just ten thousand. now i say just ten thousand. it Compared to a lot of other coins that I featured recently, this coin here is not taking the mick. It's not playing around 
yes, there's a tiny premium attached to it above the current spot price, but it's not a premium that is right in your face that is laughing at you. And that's something that, you know, I'm really pleased with because a lot of dealers are not buying some of these coins because, well, quite frankly, the premium is so far out of the way that if there's a sudden dip, they're going to lose out. Anyway, let's have a look here. Let's flip this thing over. And what do I have? Well, let's kind of zoom out for a second and kind of digest this, take it in a bit. Now, one would assume almost that I have a clock in my possession, especially once I actually get much closer in and show you guys a lot further. But no, obviously this is a one ounce coin and it is, again, just immaculate and beautiful. It really does look like a clock face. Uh, so you have the dial and everything. There are a couple of things, obviously, because I do like my Rolex watches and, well, who doesn't really? Uh, if you collect Rolexes, you're, you're definitely going to spot some things that you just know are missing. But, okay. To me, it kind of looks like a chronograph. The number six right here, um, where it says $6, you could assume that that would have a chronograph number. Uh, where the number three or something, or somewhere around maybe the six as well, you could probably assume it to maybe have a date just on it. Okay? But let's have a look at this, because this is what we're after, isn't it? And excuse the wind noise here, it is so amazing. So again, we have that amazing detail, which these sides here roll over almost onto the reeded edge. Um, going back onto the clockwork. Yeah, we are missing what you would appear to have a little stud there, but let's zoom straight in. Let's have a look at something that I think a lot of people would have missed out on if you can't really see it. So, trying to get it just right here. Now here we have, it says 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There's a little tiny sick um, seconds hand, if you wish, right in the center. And that is super awesome. The attention to detail, as I said, is supreme. They've taken what is a simplistic design and they've made it amazing. So not only have they repeated this kind of starburst and fingerprint like pattern on the reverse or the side that I would like to show, they've also then incorporated this lovely leafs kind of design. And to me, this is truly amazing it really does speak out and i love it uh as i said i am gonna buy this come heck or high water now the series of course is the chronos and you can just see it there it is so discreet again it's not in your face it's not screaming hey look at me i am you know chronos i'm the series And again, I think it is a wonderful piece. Not only if it ticked and it worked as a watch, I would wear it around my way, uh, wrist. But it doesn't. <laughs> it is, though, however, a lovely piece. And the reason why I'm going to catch up and buy the rest is I'll actually display it next to my Rolexes. Um, it would be quite nice if they have a gold version as well. That's something that would be really nice. In fact... Maybe getting a couple of these gold-plated might be on my future. Hmm. Well, that is my view, my opinion, folks, on this immaculate, lovely coin. I would love to actually hear what your thoughts are, your views are, and to see if you share the same thoughts, principles, and just amazing design work that I do. That's something, of course, that I would really appreciate to hear. So make sure you leave your comments down below. Um, and uh, yeah, look at that, though. 
take off the glove now. I don't need to have the gloves on whilst I'm doing this part. But yeah, this is truly amazing. And feather, you know, I don't know what this feather really symbolizes, but I'll tell you what, whoever made this must have had the patience and the absolute uh, hand of a feather, you know, meaning just such a delicate touch. So, anyway, a legalized, uh, a legalized, <laughs> a legal tender coin, and I think it is beautiful. So, please again, let me know your comments. This one I am 100% buying, it is staying in my collection. Uh, I have a number of coins that I still need to make up my mind on, and of course, to give you an idea, I've already bought a few from the Silver Trader. I have to send them. I have to send some back, though, sadly. So, I have things like the Phoenix. I have the Zeus. Um, I have the Zizin Ratus. I have the um, uh, T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Which, by the way, hold on, let me skip to the last one that I just did. Another T-Rex from Jurassic Park. You can see why I was having a difficult time the other day. And then finally, I have the Chi Wu Chi, uh, Chang Wang. So, yeah, I have a lot of coins. And of course, I'll probably pick out a few of these that I'm going to keep for myself. And that will just be a lot to pay them. That's how it works. I don't get these for free, I'm afraid. But that's okay. I prefer it that way. So, moving on. Um, I had done a, a previous video, which is on Wednesday, and if you're not familiar with my coin reviews or anything else, yes, I run, whoops, let's zoom this out, yes, I run free giveaways, folks. So, in this free giveaway, I have, let's see here, I have a team, and I need to pause this really quick, because I need to add the, the two names, so one second. Okay, so I just un unpaused it. Now, I had added the names. I did actually write them on the back from the previous video. So, Daka has actually picked Chelsea. And John uh, Brandon Bo had given me two names, of course, because he was the second person. So, I always ask for two names just in case. And he said Coventry or Aston Villa. We have these names here, left, Newcastle, Aston, Manchester United, Liverpool, Leeds, Tottenham, Not Forest, Middlesbrough, Arsenal, uh, Wimbledon, QPR, Sheffield Wednesday, Blackburn, Everton, Man City, Bolton, Southampton, and West Ham. So, those are the free prizes here. Of course, we got a sticker. You're going to get one of my... I say one of my, you're going to definitely get a copper round of some description. Well, it's that one, to be fair. And you're getting a one ounce Scottsdale bar. Genuine. Absolutely. So, we're now going to do this. Please note as well, before I go ahead and do this, that I still have a carded Bart Simpson giveaway. Um, I'm quite surprised that, I mean, I have an awful lot of spots left. Um, 5, 10, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18 out of 40. They're four, just take a look down below, but they're four pounds an entry. You get five entries per person or six US dollars. It's very simple. There's a lot that's going on with this, guys. And also... There is still the big kilo pour. Please give a shout out for that, everyone. I mean, this is something that I want to do. Um, you know, this is what what is happening. So I will be updating the list as well with more of that. I've just been, well, kind of busy. I'm sure you can see here. I've been doing a lot of stuff. In fact, this is something I just can't wait to get done. So let's have a look here. I've got my condom, uh, condom, <laughs> comment details. By the way, there's some more from Armando, Guido, and all of them. Okay, so we have the video here. Uh, now, I did say to 
because I always have a hidden message inside of these things. There we go, link is copied. And I have said that, you know, you need to make sure that you put, for this one, some kind of dinosaur of some description. So we're gonna pick one or two, it depends on how difficult this is. But quite frankly, you know, we'll see. I want people to win things and it would be really nice. So I'm just filtering duplicate users. I'm not messing about here, guys. Um, get comments, that would help first, wouldn't it? So let's see here. So we only have 17. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst. But come on guys, I'm giving away free gold. You don't have to do anything, just watch the video. If you don't wanna do it, fine, please. I get it. <sighs> But really, I am just giving away free, not gold, I'm giving away free silver and copper and all sorts of stuff. You don't even have to pay for postage. Call one, what does he wrote? I actually really like Jurassic Park coin, but I think it would be better. Hey, we got T-Rex, we do have a name. So call one, you've earned yourself a free spot, sir, in my video. There's his T-Rex comment. So call one, please let me know, and uh, I will put you down for a free spot. We're going for number two to pick another spot. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, seriously. And by the way, look how shiny that thing is now. That's my 10 ounce bar. I've been polishing this thing up. This is one that's on my website. But there we go, right, so. And again, not interested, thank you. I like the T-Rex, but not uh, on a coin. Have a great weekend. T-Rex, that's a dinosaur. Mr. Joe Durbin, you have won yourself another, well, I say another, you have won yourself a spot. So there you go, those are the two spots for free. Uh, let's just put it down here. I've written the name down. So call, just let me know whatever one you want. Mr. Durbin, let me know two of them, just in case Call has already picked one. I've already said the names earlier on. And, you know, uh, the key word, by the way, is to incorporate somehow um, date just. Oh, no, actually, hold on. No, 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 no. We're going to incorporate the word our hand. Because at least it ties in with the um, the actual coin itself for the coin review. So if we pick our hand, okay, for the coin review, then that will be super, super awesome. And then perhaps on Monday, you can earn a, another free spot. And we'll be able to draw and get things sorted. So incorporate our hand. That's it. No money needs to be paid. This is 100% sponsored by you guys. Everyone who's been buying spots, paying for everything, donating to me during my live streams. This is where it all goes. I'm getting a lot of, well, I'm giving back. Everything that I get, I give back. So hopefully, you know, it all works out. This is not something I'm trying to be greedy about. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Mr. Durbin and, you know, call, please get in contact with me ASAP and uh, I'll uh, be more than happy to, of course, put your names down on one of these lovely teams. So have a great day wherever you are. Be safe. And Mr. Durbin, I believe your package or actually no, it's not Mr. Durbin's package. I think it's it's either. Yeah, it's either Mr. Durbin's package that is arriving today or it's oh bugger i cannot think of the name now johnny ray highway there you go johnny ray I, i'm pretty sure actually that's johnny ray's that's coming today so knock 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 i'm looking forward to that buddy have a great day i'll see you all later bye for now